Hi, this is Chris Wall at The Wall Network. Today I'm going to go over how to use Dropbox within a VMware Workstation virtual machine. This can be quite handy if you're doing some work with maybe a VMware certification and you want to grab some files, or if you're just kind of doing general purpose work within your VM. Either way, if you want Dropbox in your VMware Workstation VM, this is the simple way to do it. So in front of you, I've got just a generic Windows 7 virtual machine. Uh, and I'm running Primo Workstation version 9 on top of my uh, Windows 7 desktop. And I've got Dropbox installed on the desktop, so that's important. You have to have it installed somewhere on your desktop, and you need to know where that file location is. So within the virtual machine, you'll go to this VM uh, menu at the top and click Settings. And you'll want to switch over to this Options tab that you probably don't go into very often, or at least I don't. And there's a shared folders option here that by default is going to be disabled. So you'll want to click the always enabled button and map the drive. So what we're doing here is we're going to actually map the physical folder on your underlying desktop machine to the virtual machine and keep it mapped as a drive letter. Um, so let's click the add button there and go through the little wizard. It's very straightforward. Just browse to the path of Dropbox on your desktop machine which mine is inside my uh, user folder in a folder called Dropbox. I think that's the default anyways. Uh, so it'll tell you the path, C users, my username, Dropbox. We'll call it Dropbox, that's fine. And enable the share. You can do read only if you only want to grab files out of the Dropbox. This may be a little more handy if you're just sharing the Dropbox files with others and you don't want them writing those files back to your Dropbox. And then finish. And there you go. It's going to make a a Dropbox, uh, or it's going to make this Dropbox folder available to your virtual machine. So we'll click OK. And if I go into the computer here, we'll see now there's a new shared folder. It just picks a drive letter that's open, and it's going to use this VMware host. So this, there's a, a trusted path between the virtual machine and your host machine that we're basically making here for the purpose of some Dropbox sharing. So now I can go into my Dropbox and grab whatever I need in here. The cool thing is, because I didn't do it read-only, if I write files to here, it'll also go to the Dropbox cloud. So I don't need to install the Dropbox app into any of my virtual machines. I just share this folder. Uh, the writes are then done to the host machine, which Dropbox is monitoring, and it'll send those up to the cloud and replicate it uh, throughout any of your other devices that are Dropbox enabled. So it's a really quick and easy way to enable a virtual machine for Dropbox use. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the information valuable, make sure to click the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos on my channel, please become a subscriber. For more articles on technical solutions and home lab building, achieving certifications, and so on, head on over to wallnetwork.com. Thank you.